I just wanted to share this with other Volkswagen Vanagon owners. This is a mid 90s, I believe, Volkswagen Vanagon. The gentleman was driving down here to enjoy the 4th of July weekend and he was coming into Cape Disappointment State Park. Started to sputter and started to die out, sputtered and died out, sputtered and died out. And next thing he knew, a fireball was erupting from the back of the rig. Completely burned up. The closest fire department was eight miles away. He lost his driver's license, all his ID, lost everything in the van. Him and his family got out with nobody getting injured. Uh, he does have full coverage insurance. Uh, we're getting a hold of mutual medium cloth today. I've been in business 37 years, and this is probably the sixth or seventh Volkswagen Vanagon I've had here burnt to the ground because of a. Uh, they have some kind of a problem in the engine compartment, and I don't know if it's to the fuel injection or relays, but something happens in the engine, they short out, and once these things catch fire, there's not much chance of putting them out. Uh, I would hope that maybe other Volkswagen Vanagon owners will see this thing on YouTube and have their mechanics check out all the rubber lines and all the relays and stuff in the engine compartment because uh, it's a pretty catastrophic fire. Uh, like I said, I think this is this is at least the sixth one I've had that has burnt completely beyond anything salvageable in uh, 35 years. Uh, it's not just, not just the Volkswagen Vanagon campers though. It's, it's this this era of Volkswagens seems to have some kind of a issue in the engine compartment. And I, again, I don't know if it's a fuel injection or if it's electrical on relays back there or what. But uh, it is a common problem. Most Volkswagen mechanics can tell you it's not not unheard of for this thing to burn up. Uh, good maintenance is required to keep this from happening. So if you have a Volkswagen Vanagon, have your mechanic check it out and make sure everything on the engine as far as the fuel injection, electrical stuff is well maintained or you could end up in the same boat as this guy with a destroyed vehicle and losing all your personal possessions. Ty, when he was down there picking this rig up, said that some other campers walked up to this gentleman handed him $500 cash and a card and said, you know, when you get back to town, just mail me a check for the $500. This guy had nothing left, no ID, nothing. So it was pretty impressive. Other campers came up and offered him rides to try and get a rental car over in Astoria. So uh, he had a lot of people trying to help him, which was pretty commendable for the, the public down there. That was, that was pretty neat in itself. Uh, I don't know if he ever got a ride back to Kent area. That's where he's from, but hopefully he got home okay last night.